b3 1 to 1 to y abusing resource tasks using rest gen uh, so this video is uh, based on uh, wild west hack fest uh, a master class on offensive ms build uh, i would highly recommend you watch this video first okay so what exactly this gen is so this gen is part of windows sdk file of uh, sdk toolkit to and might not be available on all machines so uh, we could actually drop them on the victim machine or we could also execute to the vnc unc path in fact and uh, to perform our task uh, so basically our task is to get a reverse shell so what resgen.exe does is it converts dot text rest test and this x files to dot resources files uh, so we would be using YSO serial and serialize the data using binary format of which would be in dot resx file. So what exactly is going to happen? MS build will deserialize the data, execute the command and it is going to give us a reverse shell. So let's jump into the victim machine. We'll fire the YSO serial command. Uh, hyphen P is the plugin. We have the DSX plugin. Binary formatter is being set, and we will execute with shell.exe, which is the the shell binary of uh, uh, MSF Metasploit framework. This should give us an uh, serialized data. So this is the serialized data which ms build will deserialize it and should run the ref shell and give us a reverse shell we'll copy it paste this and we'll save this as rest x So that would be an XML file which needs to be created when which MS build will run it. So the resource file here then the resource file is the normal dot resx the file which we created or uh, the output file which normally it gets converted into the sources file and this is the SDK path. Uh, we can set it where the resgen.exe file is being set. So it has been currently set to this path. Uh, I think we are good to go. We'll check our attacker machine. Our liver shell handler is waiting for the shell. We'll close it and we are good to run this to MS build run.xml. This will deserialize and should give us a reverse shell. Cool. So we have a metapeta session. Get your ID. We'll run a show. Okay. So we have a show. Uh, so the only downside of this is the binary needs to be returned to this disk. Uh, if you can do it in better, better sneaky way of uh, doing it, please. Uh, uh, let me know if you if you're able to do this the next thing comes the most important one is the detection part we'll monitor the child process created by ms build.exe uh, and also look at the process tree uh, which could give you a clear picture of what exactly is happening uh, apparently ms build.exe gets terminated i'm not sure why this is happening uh, and there's uh, cmd.exe dot gets created uh, because uh, in YSO serial when we create uh, with hyphen C command it actually invokes cmd slash C so I have uh, this was hacker running with me that should that was something my bad it's process hacker so yes we could see that web shell we'll open that and 
let's say it's the parent process of cmd.exe which the cmd.exe got popped up right and this is the shell which we have it so that's it for this video thanks for watching